Sports Information Director Andrea Wenzel here with men's soccer head coach Bob Amon. Uh, the first question I have for you is maybe a little bit of a slow start to the season, but now you've won three out of your last four, a little bit of a turnaround. Can you kind of explain that and what's maybe been going on the last couple weeks? Sure. Um, well, I think uh, the, the, the turnaround is um, based on the time spent together, in all honesty. We, uh, we knew coming in that we had such a large new group of players. Uh, that it was going to take some time to gel and even though we we had opportunities to get results uh, leading seven you know leading seven of the ten games at halftime um, you know we just we needed to grow and learn um, you know and, and I think the last couple of games we've done that uh, the games that uh, we played uh, in the last two weeks, if we played those same games early in the season, the results might have been a little different. So on that side, it's very promising, and, and I think that uh, we've, we've come together at the right time. Now, last weekend was the first weekend of a Big West Conference play, a loss at UC Santa Barbara, a win at Cal Poly. Can you just kind of take us through the weekend and evaluate both of those games for us? Yeah, I mean, when we got the schedule, we knew that uh, you know it was going to be a very, very difficult trip. Uh, there's not too many teams that go into those two locations on a weekend and, and get six points. So, uh, you know, even at the start of the season, before we played a game, the thought process was like, if we can get three points, uh, you know, from the two games, we would uh, consider that a successful season or a successful weekend. Um, and, you know, we weren't happy with the way that we played on Friday. Um, but Santa Barbara is a good opponent and they took their chances. Uh, but uh, cre full credit to the players uh, for their uh, mindset and uh, you know getting a great result on Sunday against a very very difficult team in a place that has been historically a difficult place for us to to get results. You look, I think, in the last probably 15, 20 years, we've only gotten three results at that location. So uh, it was a very very good result against a team that had been. You know, leading the leading the country in scoring, and and so uh, defensively, we did a very very good job. Obviously, uh, getting a shutout. Okay, now upcoming this weekend, you'll kind of finish playing the the northern uh, division schools of the Big West with UC Davis and Sacramento State. Can you give us a, kind of a quick look ahead scouting report on both of those opponents? Well, we're excited about playing at home. You know, uh, three of the last four games we've been on the road, uh, so uh, we're excited about that. And, uh, you know, we know that uh, both games will be extremely challenging, uh, like every game in the Big West Conference is. Uh, you throw out records, uh, records mean nothing, um, and we feel the same about ourselves, you know. But uh, Davis, uh, you know, they uh, are a challenging team. They uh, are physically, uh, um, you know, very, very good and, and uh, technically good. And, and we have a little bit of a chip on our shoulder because they knocked us out of the Big West Championship last year in the semifinals up there at their place. So, uh, you know, we haven't forgotten that. And we're, we're certainly looking to the, to the rematch. And then Sac State, uh, you know, we haven't played Sac State a lot, uh, being last year really the first time that we played them as a new member in our conference. So, uh, you know, not a lot of history there, but uh, we anticipate another challenging game. and. You know, every Sunday game is challenging, and so, uh, you know, hopefully uh, Friday we uh, don't have any injuries or, or anything because we've got such a short turnaround for that Sunday afternoon game. Okay. And you mentioned being able to come back home and play here at Titan Stadium. I know the Titan Tusk Force has kind of been out for a lot of your matches this year. Can you just talk a little bit about the, uh, the atmosphere that, that they bring to the stadium? When oh, it's, it's, it's phenomenal, uh, you know. Uh, I noticed it, uh, you know, and, and uh, I know that the players do as well. That energy level um, that uh, they bring is very, very important. And, and that's one of the reasons why the, the two uh, uh, schools that we were just at are so difficult to go play at because their support is, uh, is, is very, very good. Uh, and it makes for an intimidating situation. And we hope that uh, come Friday and Sunday that the Tusk Force brings that uh, intimidating uh, atmosphere here to Titan Stadium. And one final question for you. Looking ahead one more week, Saturday, October 19th, play UC Irvine, but you'll also celebrate the 20th anniversary of the 1993 men's uh, soccer final four team. Can you just talk about what that means to you and the team to have those players come back honored at halftime and what they represent for the Cal State Fullerton program? Yeah, they, they're, they're actually the team that put uh, us on the map. Um, you know, that 93 team, 
uh, you know, no one, no one really expected that team to uh, be the national caliber team that it was. Um, we were kind of the, the bad news bears at the Final Four um, with, uh, you know, historically big programs, Princeton, uh, University of Virginia, and uh, University of South Carolina. Um, but it was well deserved. We were the first, the first team to um, have won every NCAA playoff game on the road in order to get to the uh, Final Four. Uh, so that was a, a tremendous achievement. Um, and I think that uh, honoring them in the, in the 20-year anniversary uh, is the least that we can do for a, a group that really did so much for our program and our team. And uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing all the guys. Uh, it's amazing. It's uh, it's been 20 years already. Well, thanks, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.